okay look students uh, in the last class we have discussed uh, how to find the minimum and a maximum value of a given function by first derivative test is it and today we'll learn how to find the maximum and minimum value of a function by second derivative test okay how to find the maximum and minimum value by second derivative test by second derivative test okay first i am telling you the algorithm or the procedure how to find the minimum value or maximum value by second derivative test okay now by the headline you can see that uh, we have to find the second order derivative how to find the maximum and minimum value by second derivative means we have to find the a uh, derivative second order derivative of the functions okay so first step is sub one function will be given so a uh, step one one function will be given f of x number two st second step we have to find the derivative of fx that means find f dot x find f dot x and de then step three find double derivative of x f x of will given first find the f dot x means the derivative of f x and then uh, f double dot x means second derivative of f x now we have to means uh, step four we have to find the critical point critical point and we know that the critical points can be found by equating f dot x with zero critical point can be found by f dot x is equal to zero okay and uh, let us consider the critical points are suppose c1 and uh, c2 and c3 maybe c1 maybe c2 or c3 suppose we are taking three critical point now we will ch check what is the value of f double dot x at x is equal to c1 if this value is greater than zero we can say that the function has a minimum value minimum value at x is equal to c1 and if suppose a double dot x at x is equal to c2 is less than 0 we said that the function has a maximum value at x equal to c2 okay and if this situation happen means if double dot x at x equal to c3 is equal to 0 then we have to look for the higher order of derivative but this this type of questions is uh, not in your syllabus so we'll concentrate in these two situation when if double dot x greater than zero means the function will attain a minimum value at x equal to c1 and if if double dot x is uh, less than zero then we call the function attain a maximum value at x equal to c1 okay so this is the procedure how to find the maximum value or minimum value okay now the geometrical meaning geometrical interpretation why uh, if f double dot x is greater than 0 then why the function attain a minimum value okay now look what is the f dot x can you tell me what is the meaning of f dot x what is the meaning of f dot x Uh, slope of the tangent at uh, yes very good slope of the tangent at uh, any points on the curve now we can say that a dot x is also change of fx we can also uh, call a dot x as change of fx or uh, the slope slope of the function okay and what is the meaning of a double dot x this is actually change of change of f dot x f double dot x means change or rate of change of f dot x okay or rate of change of slope okay now i am drawing two graph suppose 
one graph is like that now look on the left hand side on the left hand side the curve is increasing curve means the uh, um, slope is greater than zero okay and at that point the tangent is flat means uh, is parallel to x axis and on the right hand side it's the slope is uh, less than zero means it uh, it the uh, sorry the curve is decreasing curve on the right hand side of okay so here the curve is increasing and here the curve is decreasing so in that in that portions the rate of change of slope is greater than zero and in that case the rate of change of slope is less than zero means here the rate of change uh, rate of uh, sorry the rate of change of slope is changing from positive to negative direction it's positive to negative direction so in that case the function will attain the maximum value at this point maximum value at this point now if i draw a minimum a uh, curve like that okay now look in that side the rate of change of the slope is uh, less than zero and it that in that side the rate of change of the curve is greater than zero that means the rate of change uh, of the slope is changing from negative to positive directions okay that means in that case means when f dot x f double dot x or change of slope is greater than zero then it's attained a minimum value and when f double dot x or rate of change of f dot x is less than zero then the function will attain a maximum value okay okay understood why f dot x uh, when f double dot x greater than zero it will give you the minimum value and when f double dot x is uh, less than zero then it will give you the maximum value any problem okay now uh, we'll apply this second derivative test to uh, find the maximum value and minimum value of a function okay so let's come to the exercise uh, application of derivative and our page number is page number is just give me a moment uh page number is 231 exercise number 5.1 look the question is uh, find the maximum and minimum value if any if the uh, curve has any maximum value or minimum value we have to find it out okay now look we can solve the equation by first derivative test or second derivative test okay so uh exercise number 6.5 and the question number one first question now look here f of x is given as 2x minus 1 whole square plus 3 2x minus 1 whole square plus 3 we have to find the maximum value and the minimum value if exist okay so first uh, find the derivative of fx so differentiating with respect to x what we have a dot x will be equal to 2 into 2x minus 1 into derivative of 2x minus 1 that is equal to 2 am i right okay so uh, it is actually uh, 4 to the 8x minus 4 4 to the 8x minus 2 and also find uh, f double dx means differentiating again with respect to x differentiating again with respect to x so f double dot x will be equal to the derivative of this term that is d dx of 8x minus 4 means it will be 8 okay now find the critical point of the function now critical point of the function is given by f dot x is equal to 0 now put the value of f of f dot x now f dot x is equal to 8x minus 4 so put it here 8x minus 4 that is equal to 0 that will gives you the value of x as 4 by 8 that is equal to 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 is the critical points of the function f of x 
now we have to find what is the value of a double dot x at x equal to half so a double dot x at x equal to half is equal to because there is no x so it will be 8 and this is greater than 0 now I told you the formula that when a double dot x is greater than 0 it means the curve has a minimum value therefore the curve has a minimum value minimum value at where at x is equal to half at x equal to half the curve has a minimum value now the question is we have to find the minimum value and how we can find the minimum value we have to put x equal to half in the given equation in this equation we'll get the minimum value of the curve okay so I'm uh, rubbing this portion okay so the minimum value is therefore the minimum value is f of half now look f of x is given here find f of half so that is equal to 2 into half minus 1 whole square plus 3 so that is this part will be 0 1 minus 1 whole square so 0 plus 3 that is equal to 3 so 3 is the minimum value of this curve f of x and hence solve oh, enough students still be uh, have you understood how to find the minimum value and uh, or maximum value of a given curve the steps are very easy first we have to write f of x then find the derivative of f of x means f dot x and then derivative uh, differentiate f dot x again means find f double dot x now next step is we have to find the critical point by equating f dot x is 0 and we have to check what is the sign of f double dot x at this critical point in that case we have just one critical point that is x equal to half okay now tell me ha have you understood or not have you understood or not Akash Shubhaji Saprabhu just reply me have you understood or not Akash is saying yes okay Saprabhu yes okay so now let's move to the next question the next question is the next question is uh, f of x is equal to f of x is equal to 9x square plus 12x plus 2 find the minimum and maximum value if any okay so we'll follow the same step first we'll find the derivative of f of x that means differentiate with respect to x that means f dot x which will be 9 to the 18x plus 12 18x plus 12 and also find f dot x mean differentiating again differentiating again with respect to x we have f double dot x is equal to derivative of 18x plus 12 which is actually uh, 18 okay now find the critical point now critical point is given by f dot x is equal to 0 that means uh, f dot x is equal to 18x plus 12 18x plus 12 is equal to 0 means value of x will be minus 12 by 18 that means 2 by 3 now find the value of f double dot x at x is equal to minus 2 by 3 and as f, do, f dot f double dot x is a constant function so its value will be 18 greater than 0 okay so f double dot x at at the critical point x equal to minus 2 by 3 the value of the function is greater than 0 that means the curve has a 
minimum value at x equal to 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 and what is the minimum value and the minimum value is that means it has a minimum value it has a minimum value and the minimum value is the minimum value minimum value is what f of minus 2 by 3 now put x equal to minus 2 by 3 in this expression so it will be 9 into minus 2 by 3 whole cube not whole cube whole square plus 12 into minus 2 by 3 plus 2 okay now do the calculation so 9 into that will be 4 by 9 and it is a 3 4 the 12 so 2 4 the minus 8 plus 2 so that is 6 minus 8 that is minus 2 so that means the minimum value of the function is equal to minus 2 okay and hence the sol solution now tell me have you understood or not uh, just uh, tell me once have you understood or not yes okay so let's go to the next question okay so next question is uh, f of x is equal to number 3 f of x is equal to minus of x minus 1 whole square plus 10 minus of x minus 1 whole square plus 10 okay now let's find out uh, whether it has a minimum value or maximum value and what is that okay so first what we'll do we'll differentiate this expression so do the differentiation so differentiating with respect to respect to x we have f dot x is equal to now look if I differentiate minus of x minus 1 whole square so it will be minus 2 into x minus 1 into derivative of this term and the derivative of this term is 1 and derivative of 10 is 0 but no need to write this one ok so that means minus 2x plus 2 so this is the value of f dot x now differentiate f dot x uh, again with respect to x now differentiating again with respect to x we have f double dot x is equal to now differentiate it so it will be minus 2 derivative of x equal to 1 plus 0 that means it's equal to minus 2 now look if the okay now find the critical point of the function now critical point of the function are given by critical points are given by given by what given by f dot x is equal to 0 that implies f dot x means minus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0 which imply minus 2x is equal to minus 2 that means x is equal to 1 so a uh, critical point of the function is x equal to 1 is known now find the value of f double dot x at x equal to 1 now if double dot x at x is equal to 1 is that is equal to minus 2 because f double dot x is a constant function now look it is less than 0 now uh, tell me one thing when the value of the function means value of f double dot x is less than 0 so what we have when the value of the function is uh, sorry value of f double dot x is less than 0 so what happened it has a maximum value very good it has a maximum value and now tell me what is the maximum value of the function 
find out the maximum value of the function so it has a so the function has a less than zero so the function has a maximum value and what is the maximum value and the maximum value is the maximum value is is f of what f of the critical point is 1 so f of 1 now find out the value of f of 1 so f of 1 is minus 1 minus 1 whole square plus 10 so that is equal to 10 so the maximum value of the function is equal to 10 and hence solve now tell me guys students uh, have you understood if you have any problem you can tell me Yes, understood. No problem, sir. Very good. Okay. So now, uh, okay. So now today's last question. Okay, because the time is almost running out. Uh, the last question is question number four. Of g of x is equal to now function is a uh, name as g of x. G of x is equal to x q plus one. Okay. So g of x is equal to x s cube plus 1. g of x is equal to x s cube plus 1. We have to find the maximum uh, or, and or minimum value of this function. Okay. So what we will do? This is the given function. So we have to find f dot x. So differentiate the function. Differentiate with respect to x we have g dash s is equal to that is 3x squared g dash x is equal to 3x squared okay now differentiate g, g dash x again so differentiating again differentiating again with respect to x respect to x we have g double dot x is equal to a 3 to the 6 x 3 to the 6 x ok now find the critical point therefore the critical points are the critical point are given by the critical points are given by we know critical points are given by g dot x is equal to 0 critical points are given by g dot x is equal to 0 that implies what is the value of g dot x is 3 x square is equal to 0 which means the value of x is equal to 0 so uh, g dot x is equal to 0 means 0 is the critical point of the function now what we'll do now we'll find the value of g double dot x at the critical point okay so now look here g double dot x at x is equal to 0 now one uh, problem has arised here now uh, when you put x equal to 0 x equal to 0 here so g dot x is equal to 6 into 0 6 into 0 so that's become 0 now look we can say that 0 is greater than 0 or less than 0 we can say that this is greater than 0 or this is less than 0 ok this is neither greater than 0 or not less than not uh, less greater than 0 so what we can say about this function can you tell me I told you that when uh, three cases may be arise that f double dot x may be greater than 0 when the function has a minimum value and f double dot x is greater than 0 when it has a maximum value and third case I told you that this portion is not in your syllabus that when f double dot x is equal to 0 
then what we can say about this function a uh, neither maximum or uh, minimum yes in this case you can say neither maximum value or minimum value because higher order of derivative this process is not in your syllabus okay we have to look forward for the uh, higher uh, derivative of the function okay so in that case we can say that the function has the function function has neither neither minimum value minimum value or or maximum value okay so the function has neither minimum value or maximum value okay so uh, this question is completed now okay so students uh, today up to this much next step will uh, start from question number 2 clear okay sir okay so very good uh, so see you in my next class bye